Hey everyone, Tracking Pat back again for segment three of the RLX ID work in the 1630 lathe with the four position turret. As you saw in the two previous segments, we made the program and then we set up all the tools and explained how the turret works. We also showed how the part verification works. You can see the whole part, that's what's left on the screen right now. And so let's get to what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna run the part as always. Before I turn the spindle on, let me explain just a little bit. I'm going to go to run mode and then I'm gonna use tracking as I normally would. Just make sure I'm in the right place. And I'm gonna close the door for this because we got a camera on the back side that's gonna film it. And then you'll be able to see the whole process as it indexes and walks through the whole thing. So let's get going. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna push exit to get out of verification. I'm gonna to go to the run mode. And then in here, it's asking me whether I wanna start at the beginning or anywhere in the middle. I'm just gonna start at the beginning. I'm gonna close my door and I'm gonna move my part so I can see well enough. And then in here, I'm gonna push tracking. And when I dial it forward, it's gonna to go to the point where I'm ready to make parts. And I just wanna make sure I'm in the right place, right? Looks good to me. Stop, CNC, and go. And there you have it. So as you can see, uh, I accidentally bumped the door in the middle of that, so I had to push go again. But other than that, it would have completed by itself. You can see that the part in here is done and finished. And uh, I'll take the part out here in a second and I can show it to you what it actually looks like, okay? So 
So if you can take a look at this, I'm hoping I got it in the right place where you can see in here that I have my groove in the back, my bore through, and then all the threading inside and there you go. So as you can see, most of it is very similar to the way that our RX, I'm sorry, our, our SX and our EX works. Um, the tool setup is different because it's more powerful. It allows me to work with or without a library. Uh, with a four position indexer or turret, it allows me to work with an eight position turret. It allows me to work with a standard tool post. So I've got a little bit more versatility. And of course, all the other stuff that goes along with the RX that we've been talking about also fits into this as well. So I really do appreciate you watching all this. Hopefully you see the differences. If you have some questions, as always, contact your local track rep. I'm sure he'll help you out with everything from this fancy paper to make your prints to helping you get the next ProtoTrack up and running in your shop. So once again, thanks for watching. As always, keep on tracking.